Josh and welcome to my crib. get questions on what kind of camera I use and how I edit and stuff like that so I thought I might as well show you guys so I asked you guys on Instagram what exactly you want to see me show you however not a lot of people actually replied which made this video so much more harder to film so in case in the future you want to help me out or engage in my video make sure you follow my Instagram which is sasha.ru that way you'll be notified whenever I post a video or just about anything that pops up really <laughs> but before you get on the video make sure to subscribe to my channel I post videos every single Sunday and also give this video a massive thumbs up because that will help me out a lot don't forget to turn on my notifications and all those things because this YouTube making life so much harder for everyone. Huh. Also, I was really into filming this in a kind of a girly style, so I took a twist on the whole video. And I may have filmed it a little bit like TMZ. I think you might enjoy that a little bit more. Guys, this is actually a collab with one of my amazing friends here on YouTube, Jess and Jay. She works so incredibly hard in her videos, and I would really, really appreciate it if you checked her video out. It will be down in the description box below. I want to point out that it took forever to have this collab actually come to life. Because it's either I'm busy or she's busy or just some problems. So I'm so, so excited to be finally collabing with her. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that I do is take out my tripod and set it right over here. I like to introduce lighting in my room is good. Therefore, I usually open up these two curtains from both sides of my room. So for lighting is finalized. I finally can set up my tripod along with my camera and my microphone. The camera that I use is the Canon 700D. It has very good quality and is one of the most affordable cameras compared to the other Canon cameras. So for filming, I always use my Rode shotgun mic. This is totally not necessary, especially if you're just starting with your channel. I just think it kind of helps with the audio. As for my intro background, I usually just simply sellotape some fairy lights on. Yeah, I, I sellotape them. Um, yeah. After that, I sit down and film my intro. What's up, guys? My name's Sasha. For ten different times for some reason, I don't know. What's up, guys? My name's Sasha. What's up, guys? My name's Sasha. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? My name's Sasha. Now, in terms of all the smooth shots that you see, or anything to do with skits, really, that is usually filmed by my family. <laughs> Now, finding about how I edit, I have my own special editing corner and it looks something like this. So as for how I move and transform things, you'll need to click this like little rectangle thing and the rest is quite hard to explain so just watch what I'm doing. So I click this little rhombus kind of shape and I adjust my image to the size that I want it to be at. And at the appropriate time lapse, I move the image to where I actually want it to be. And then I simply forward the video a little bit for a few seconds and then move the image and then do that again and again until I'm happy with the movement of the image. And that's it! You don't have to save anything or make any other adjustments. As long as you're happy with it, you're done. Everybody get up. Sometimes I want bits of the image to be brighter or a different color, however I don't want the full thing to change, so this is what I do. I click on the little magic wand thing and a color correction window pops up. I make my adjustments with the lighting or the color, in this case it's the lighting because my socks look a little bit dirty and I wanted them to look whiter. Then I click back onto video and underneath the color board there's this little color mask thing. There you will see a little dropper image. Just click on the bits of the image that you want to change color with and drag across to make sure the color is good. You can make the edges a little bit softer or harsher depending on the way you want it to blend out. This is such a useful thing if you want to saturate some things but not everything, so I definitely recommend using this. That is it guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up. Can we try and get this video to 250 likes, please? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and also, please, can you click the bell button? That way you'll be notified whenever I post a video. And, bye! Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. I just have no idea